Hawa Haidere has a dream, a daily burn, a driving need to be the first. She's already accomplished much today. Up at dawn, catching several bus rides for her first appointment. The same, same structure. Learning her new language. Paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. Then more bus rides to fit in core training before work. One, two. Hyderi wants to be the first Afghan female fighter in MMA, mixed martial arts. I want to be like a strong woman, the strongest Afghan woman in here. Fighting is nothing new to Hyderi. She was part of a secret mission 10,000 kilometers away from here in Afghanistan. During the Afghanistan conflict, a secret female platoon ferreted out the Taliban alongside U.S. Special Forces. At that time, no Afghan male expected an Afghan female to carry an M4 rifle or a 9mm pistol. It was also taboo to work alongside men. Because they thought that like the special work, uh, work in that is like just for someone that very strong or some for men and not for female. Hyderi's mission was overnight raids on terrorists. We use nitrogen, we use like rif uh, rifle uh, uh, M4, and we go to dr through their house and search them for the special person. Hyderi joined her platoon members, including her former commander, at a reunion at the Military Women's Memorial at Arlington National Cemetery outside Washington, D.C. There, they remembered Hyderi's best friend, who was murdered by her fiancé's family because she was a member of the female platoon. Forty-two members of the platoon, or FTP, escaped to the U.S. and are now fighting another fight, that of their immigration status. The secret program was financed by the Afghan government under the supervision and training of U.S. forces. So they lack necessary papers for a coveted special immigrant visa. Most, including this woman we will call Mina, are Hazara, a persecuted minority in Afghanistan, now with a double bounty on their heads, making it impossible for them to return. If they knew about me that uh, I'm a member of uh, female tactical platoon, of course they just will kill me. Hyderi says her MMA goal won't be reached for at least five years, but her stamina keeps up. Because for her, this is simply another achievable fight without a man holding her back. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Spokane, Washington.